हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू मिजो स्टडी वीडियो क्लासेस एंड एज इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट स्लाइड दैट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सी बी एस सी पैटर्न क्वेश्चन एंड दैट टू फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर एट दैट इज सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड रोटेशनल मोशन फाइन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू पिक अप वेरियस यू कैन से सिचुएशंस which are specifically important for your school exam point of view because obviously this is not the part of your board exams but in school exams unless and until you are not performing well in your class 11th how you will reach in class 12th fine and for the competitive exams this uh, particular chapter that is rotational motion dy rotational dynamics system of particles and rotational aspects is very important fine so to uh, i'm starting this discussion here comes the first question now as uh, from last few videos i'm explaining all these things but let's say once again i'm uh, explaining say for example here this is mentioned one mark fine so in your school exams what will happen the same old story few questions very short one marks then two marks then three marks then four or five marks then hot's category high order thinking skills fine so those questions are slightly different so what we tried in this particular video where there is a collection of 10 questions or so we tried our best to incorporate each and every category reason is simple here i'm not only explaining the answer but i'm also explaining you the method how you should answer say for example this category that is very very important category just one mark so here you have to write down few words maybe sometimes just one word and you will get full marks so you should know how much time and efforts you should put for any specific question if it is for 5 marks you should provide to uh, explain the diagram uh, definitions uh, you you can use colorful pencils but if it is 2 marks or so you have to simply write down one or two lines that's it fine so let's start this first question the center of mass of a rigid body lie always on the body so it is the very fundamental question fine the question is about center of mass is it like that center of mass always lie on the body in the body within the body answer is no fine now for example consider the case of ring ring means like this where is the center of mass this way it is not on the body and there are two three terms associated center of gravity geometrical center center of mass fine i tried my best to pick questions associated with all these three terms so for regular shape bodies i explained this concept in starting of this particular chapter theory videos for regular shape bodies cm that is center of mass coincides with the geometrical center of the body say for example this ring the geometrical center is the center this point and this is radius so here the center of mass coincides with the geometrical center of the body fine so center of mass it's not necessary that it will always lie on the body but for regular shape body center of mass may coincide with the geometrical center of the body fine now here comes question number 2 it is again in one mark category what is the position vector of center of mass of two particles of equal masses so here position vector of two particle system center of mass you can find so position vector is something which represents that center of mass fine so position vector of center of mass of two particles of equal masses so here you can write down at the most just one line of uh, let's say five six words and what that may, uh, line may be that uh, 
uh, in short term you should not write down like that the uh, position vector of center of mass of two particles of equal mass is not like that simply write down one statement that is it should be at average of it should be at average of at average of average of position vector position vector of two particles of two particles at average of position vector of two particles. So, this answer is more than enough about this one mark question fun so here you can say that sometimes it may happen that you have to write down one two three four five words this add off they are not countable fine then comes this question number three and here what is important this two marks so question number three and four each with two marks so it is like that in this particular uh, question you have to write down maybe a line or so a seven to ten words or something like that why do we prefer to use a wrench with a long arm it is like that suppose i want to open the screw of uh, the wheel of my car let's say it got punctured so i need a different type of device that is known as wrench wrench or uh, a device which is used for opening the nut bolts of the wheel so that we can detach it another step we can attach fine so uh, question is long arm okay long arm suppose you want to open a screw of a small device let us say mixer juicer so you need a wrench which is long enough so that you can operate it properly what exactly the cause if the screwdriver is of very short length it is not going to be easy for you to open the screw the cause is simple fine because it is rotational motion and in rotational motion important is not force important is what important is torque fine torque is what force cross product with the position vector perpendicular to that point fine so the answer is tau is equal to r cross f now f is something that i am applying and there is a limit for f for me now if i increase the r then torque is going to be more so more torque easily i can tight or untight the screw fine so because of this reason because of this formula because of this term we can easily open consider the case of the room in which you are right now watching my video I am sure there is a door and the handle of the door to open the door is at the one extreme and the clippings which is attaching the door with the wall is at another end. Imagine you fix the handle at the mid of the door. So, therefore, important is torque and this distance fine. So, long arm is required. You can perform this experiment in your house or in your laboratory. So, this one is very simple question, but very important also this basic concept. Then comes question number 4. What is the dimensional formula of angular momentum and what are its units? Is it a scalar now? You may say, sir, there are three parts of this question and only two marks. Yes, because this is a simple question. And these type of questions are there just to 
you can say utilize your time fine reason is simple you cannot remember all the dimensional formulae so you have to drive them at least two three lines and then units kilogram meter per second per like that and then you have to mention whether it is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity so angular momentum angular momentum in general is represented by two quantities fine first quantity is l or in some books it is j it's a vector quantity no problem then comes what is the dimensional formula of angular momentum so suppose i am unable to recall anything but at least i can recall one simple formula that l is equal to pr basically it is vector l is equal to vector r cross vector p so it is going to be l is equal to pr sin theta there is no point of putting the sin theta so it is nothing but mvr get the formula mention it then unit as per mass length time something like that and then write down whether it is a scalar quantity or vector quantity so you can say here at least uh, seven to eight words required and by just mentioning those seven to eight words you will get full two marks fine so initial problems it is quite uh, easy for you to score full marks because in actual exam basically you will get uh, five or four questions for one mark four five questions for two marks something like that because total paper is for 70 marks fine uh, that is question number five to six and here it is each question with three marks fine now each question with three marks so first is explain the concept of torque and angular momentum it's like that they want to check whether you have the idea of torque and angular momentum or not because uh, before this chapter when we were discussing laws of motion and so on important was force and important was momentum linear momentum but here important is torque and this angular momentum so how you should write down the answer so what i will do i will write down the way it should be in your answer sheet so let's use this space first i am going to explain you torque okay torque represented by tau what you can write down now torque or moment of force torque or movement no movement movement of force gives turning effect torque or moment of force gives turning effect turning effect of force about a fixed point about a fixed point fine so this is the definition this is the explanation you can mention about torque and if you have time you can also mention like tau is equal to r cross sorry capital f and the units accordingly you can mention you can also mention the dimensional formula so that is added value so now the teacher cannot detect anything out of this three one and half marks you got similarly we will talk about second aspect that is angular momentum now about angular momentum second part l 
or j so first you should write down is equal to fine where p is linear momentum r is perpendicular distance of line of action so what you can say it is it is defined as it is defined as product of product of linear momentum that is p linear momentum and perpendicular distance perpendicular distance of a uh, line of action a uh, perpendicular distance of line of action okay and then you can mention the units you can mention the dimensional formula so out of 3 that's it just two three lines nothing else nothing more okay so this is the way of writing the answers okay why to mention unnecessary information which is not required let's say i'm asking what is your name my name is this rather than you are answering i'm from this school i'm from this city so that all information is meaningless okay to be too specific while answering any question because time management is very important if in initial small small questions you will lose your maximum time then for long questions say for example four or five marks question how you will manage that is very important fine so time management from the question number one onwards you should be very specific and very careful once again i'm coming back to the question number six explain what is meant by center of gravity try to recall center of mass i mentioned so there are three terms now this question is again in three marks so at least here you should provide three to four lines fine i'll just give you some catch words rest is up to you so one term is center of mass another is geometrical center and then it is center of gravity that is cg fine so these three terms what is meant by center of gravity so center of mass is what you can say a point within the body outside of the body on the body outside of the body where you can assume that entire mass of the body is concentrated is placed so regarding center of gravity the lines which you should provide that is cg center of gravity point where now it is center of gravity so we will not talk in terms of mass we will talk in terms of weight point where weight of the body point where the weight of the body acts number one point where weight of the body acts first point second you can say and total gravitational torque on the body is zero total gravitational torque on the body is zero there is a deep meaning for this sentence it means r is nothing fine so total gravitational torque second point total gravitational total gravitational torque is zero on the body on the 
body. So what I uh, explained, I simply mentioned two simple statements. Now you can expand these statements, but crux of the matter is these two statements for this particular question. So if you just mention uh, this much, one and half, one and half. So ultimately, it will give you three marks. Fine. As such, there is uh, no requirement of diagram, but you can show with the help of a diagram also, not a problem. Now, let us come for the question number 7 and very first thing that is why I mentioned with each and every question, read the instructions of the question paper very carefully. Sometimes <coughs> all the instructions are mentioned at the front page of the question paper, sometimes maybe set of question, uh, questions, so something like that, but be very careful. So, this is the <coughs> Question number 7 here, basically my idea of putting this question was to give you some feel of this chapter. That is why I mentioned, discuss three examples of motion of center of mass. So, first in first uh, look, this question is slightly, what is meaning of motion of center, uh, center of mass, something like that. So, here you should just have to elaborate I am putting some examples where the center of mass is moving fine. So, three examples I will mention two three examples. So, say for example, first is motion of earth sorry other way around motion of moon around earth as it is for 4 marks, sorry 5 marks, so you have to write down, expand it. Main example is this, you can expand it like this way, this is earth, this is moon, mass of is this much, small m, distance between them is capital R. So, obviously, center of mass is not going to be mid of this somewhere, where the uh, it is going to be balanced closer to the uh, center of ma this ma moon and then you can define this. So, this is one example. Another example is binary star system. Now, this binary star system is what? Two stars of equal masses revolving around each other because of that uh, force of attraction of each other. Fine. So, binary star system is both the stars having same masses revolving around each other. So, here center of mass is also moving. Third is this way. Let us say I have a hand grenade, say for example, fine. I am let us say in security forces, I have a hand grenade. So, I remove the pin and I throw the hand grenade like this projectile path. So, what will happen? Somewhere over here, let us say the hand grenade blasts and it bifurcated in 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 20, 30 particles. Fine. One is going in this direction, in this direction, in this direction, in this direction and so on. But center of mass will keep on following the same parabolic path. This is also one example of motion of center of mass. This way you can uh, mention other examples say for example, ex, uh, is splitting of a nucleus fine, uh, heavy nucleus breaking into two parts, they are the same situation. Then comes your question number 8. Discuss the physical meaning of angular momentum. Now, already at least twice I mentioned this angular momentum idea. Here this question is for 3 to 5 marks. So, here you just have to draw some diagram, you have to mention the definition, fine and then you have to write down this is pure theoretical question. And more critical aspect of these type of questions is like that, 
let us say for this question is under the category of 4 marks. So, even if you write down it very properly, it is still more than 3 marks not possible unless and until it is exceptionally good with a colorful diagram and mentioning like that. So, for these type of questions my simple suggestion idea of this uh, quantity concept everything I explain please do some practice ok. And the solution answer of these questions are provided in your ebook. But this is something which is mentioned in almost all physics book you just have to remember few points. Here there is this question and I would like to put this question in the category of HOTS high order thinking skill fine. A particle describes a horizontal circuit on the smoother inner surface of a conical funnel. This is particle and this circle is basically imaginary line the particle is revolving like this fine. If the height of the plane of the circle above the vertex is 9.8 centimeter mean this particular height find the speed of the particle. So, why I am saying this is in the category of hots you have to apply Newton's laws of motion free body diagram and all these things fine. So, here I am just providing you the solution if in 4 marks this question is there you have to complete the diagram and then write down the equations. I will do the same thing, but in shortcut. So, consider the situation over here fine normal reaction in this direction fine then let us say this angle is theta. So, it is r cos sorry r sin theta yes it is r sin theta and uh, no, 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 no the angle not this, but the angle you should take from here yes. Then it is weight m g fine r uh, co this uh, uh, cos theta m v square upon r. So, normal forces I will just writing r cos theta is equal to m g and r sin theta is equal to m v square upon r fine. Now, you can easily solve it let us say it is equation number 1, it is equation number 2 divide equation by 1 to tan theta is equal to v square upon r g you can find the values and this height is also given. So, basically these question checks your calculation, memory, skill whether you are capable to show all the forces or not something like that fine. So, for these type of questions some practice really required. Then students comes this question number 10. This again a question I would like to put in the category of hots. A spotlight S this is a spotlight rotates in a horizontal plane with a constant angular velocity of this much. The spot of light P moves along the all uh, moves along the wall at a distance 3 meter it is wall. What is the velocity of the spot P? Now, I have this spotlight I am sure you can observe this uh, red color point fine this is visible. So, this red point now what is happening on this light is revolving like this everywhere like this fine. So, it is revolving I have to find the velocity this is the situation and this light is fixed like moving like this in this manner. So, here this uh, diagram is present fine what I will mention that V is equal to d x by d t fine and what is omega. So, my dear friends omega is nothing but d theta by d t ok. Now, from this diagram I can write down x is equal to 3 tan phi fine tan phi tan theta because I mentioned it is theta fine. So, this omega is equal to d theta by d t now from here what I can say 
dx by dt is equal to 3. Now, tan phi is sec square phi d phi by dt. Okay? And then dx by dt is what? That is velocity and then sec square phi that is value which is given which you can find out into dB. Simply put the values you will get the answer where the value of theta is also mentioned. Some time back I think it was 7 to 8 uh, years back this question was asked in uh, J IIT J entrance exam. So, I thought uh, from the point of view of understanding this differentiation integration process, this is a good example that is why I picked this question. So, my dear friends, it was a small discussion, a small video of collection of some simple and good questions based upon this rotational motion. I think we should stop over here. I hope you will get the feeling of how you should attempt the questions in your actual exam. So, I would like to say please keep revising be the part of the discussions of problems in these type of videos with Mizo study. Take care of yourself, take care of the subject from my side. Thanks a lot.